Look, George, why don't we make a baby together? With my looks and your brains, how could it fail? And his rather more sober response was, yes, but what if it had your brains and my looks? CRISPR is going to change everything. It's going to change the whole of science and consequently a great deal of medicine as well because it enables us now to manipulate organisms that previously we had not been able to change in very, very precise ways. So it means that not only uh, in rats and mice and flies, the things that we normally use, but also in organisms that we rarely study in the laboratory, we will now be able to manipulate them and see the ways in which their genes affect various characteristics. The question of to what use gene editing technologies should eventually be put um, with a view to creating humans modified by that technology is a very interesting one. It's certain that the first uses will be therapeutic and so the first uses will be that the, the genes of a human being will be edited in, uh, in the early embryo with a view to changing the germline of that individual uh, forever and for the, and for the better. Uh, now, if that can be done safely, that would be a wonderful thing to be able to do if we could actually edit out some, uh, some faulty genes that cause disease or alternatively, uh, so delete some parts of the genome which are destructive, but also, of course, possibly insert modified genes that would confer various sorts of protections. I think and I expect that manipulation of what's called the somatic line, so uh, our genes that will not be passed on to our next generation, that should be allowed if it's to correct diseases and already there are pilots being used, even uh, using CRISPR to remove HIV from T cells in the blood. So there are certain diseases, in particular those involving the blood, which for technical reasons will undoubtedly in the next year or so be actually offered to patients. I have no particular problem with that as long as the procedures are safe. Should we produce CRISPR babies? This sounds rather alarming. A, a CRISPR baby would be a, a child that has had its genes affected by the CRISPR manipulation. At the moment, such manipulations are forbidden. There are a number of reasons why people are worried about this. Firstly, what are the potential effects? Even if you are not affecting a gene that will be passed down the generations, there may be unto, untold and untoward effects on the child whose genes you've manipulated. The other more ethical problem is that, is it correct, is it right, to alter genes that will be passed down the generations? And at the moment, what I suspect will happen is that the former possibility will be allowed under various ethical procedures. The idea of manipulating our genes such that the next generation will no longer have those characteristics. I think people are going to be very worried about that, primarily because they're concerned that there may be a slippery slope. And if that we begin uh, removing disease genes, perhaps we'll want to end up uh, producing highly intelligent, beautifully looking babies. So there's the, the threat of eugenics, of deliberate manipulation, not to r correct something, but to make something apparently better and many people around the world are very concerned about that. My personal view about altering the genes of those who will, those genes that will be passed on to the next generation is that's much more difficult. Uh, on the other hand, there are certain diseases like Huntington's disease. We know exactly its cause. We know the precise difference between people who suffer from the disease and uh, normal people. That I cannot see any reason what harm it could do to remove that 
gene, that faulty bit of a gene from somebody's genome. People, I think, tend to fetishise the germline unnecessarily. Everybody, the whole of humanity, conspires in a germline altering method of procreation called sexual reproduction, which causes a huge amount of damage, very large failure rate, very high genetic abnormality rate with disastrous consequences. We are, uh, as it were, saddled with a germline altering method of reproducing. We could change that. Parents do make decisions about the children that they expect to result from the combination of their genes by their choice of procre procreational partner. And those changes, of course, remain in the germline. People don't object to that. The other problem is the use of CRISPR organisms in the environment. Should we be creating organisms that, say, mosquitoes that can't transmit the Zika virus, cane toads in Australia that can't reproduce? There are major health issues and ecological problems that we could conceivably solve using CRISPR. But then there becomes the issue of what is going to happen when these organisms are actually let into the environment? Will the genes that we have altered re be retained and only function within those organisms or will they spread potentially into other species? So these are major ethical questions that are being posed right now.